Well, I'm back in the wooded area of the park and I just found a shell that has no markings on it. It's a tall brass and it's a fat one. I don't know if that's a like a 24 gauge old shotgun shell or what this is. If anybody knows I'd sure like to know there's not a single mark on this. That's tall brass and it's pretty fat. Maybe I'll take some measurements and see but it's just surprising to me that there is absolutely no no head stamp marks on it. And already see you the next. I think I might have just pulled my first silver out of the woods here. Let's take a look and see. Oops, oh, oh, sorry about that. I just dropped you. Yeah, here it is. Oh, 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 look at that. Could this be my first seated? One dime. I'm going to change my hands here. Wow. Well, I'm glad I came back in the woods. All right, let's see. Probably a barber. Yep. But I don't know why this thing doesn't want to focus. There it is, 1904. Fan-freaking-tastic. All right. I knew there were some old coins back here. Super stoked. I'm going to double check all make sure it's not a spill. Alrighty, see you on the next. I have permission in my neighborhood. Just poking around. Look at that little pendant. Yeah, it's not silver. At least I don't think it is. It's very heavy and it rings up like silver, but it's not marked. It's got a VA Blackington Company, something like that. I'll try and clean it up better. I mean, maybe it is silver. It's sure as heavy like it and rang up as a 96. But uh, I'll check it out later. Moving on to the next. Good. All right, just scored a buffalo out of this yard. That looks like it's got a date too. It's buff. I'm gonna take a little closer look here and see if I can see the date. Thirty-four. Nineteen thirty-four. All right, we'll see you in the next hole. That has got to be a war nickel. Look at that shining. Yeah, a D. Nice. First piece of silver out of this yard, boy. It just, it just can't have ever been detected. There's just too many signals. Two wheat pennies, an old Jeff, and buffalo, and now this war nickel. Looks like a 44. Nice. I'll take it. See you in the next one. All right, we got our first silver coin. Let's see if we can uh, you see that edge down there. Let's pop it out. What do we got here? Roosevelt. Silver Rosie looks like uh I'm sorry about the bad camera angles. Looks like a 41. Alright, nice first silver. You know what? Here you go, buddy. Here's your first silver coin. Thank Smile you. Smile for the camera. <laughs> nice. Alright, on to the next. Just me a sweet little toy airplane. I'm gonna check and see if the wings are in there. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's cool. Wish it had. It was more complete, but I'll take it. All right, see you the next. Time. So I found this button over at that house permission, and boy, it looks like a Civil War button to me. I actually shot a picture of this over to Mike of the Coil Boys, and he suspects that it's Civil War or just post Civil War, 1860 through 1880. Whoop. Losing my focus here. And I also shot a picture over to Joe at Oki Surf and Turf, and he thinks the same thing. That is quite a stunning find for Montana, to say the least. I'm super stoked on that. I'm gonna take that away and see if I can get it to focus.
on it with that. Uh, yeah, it's in quite good shape. Here we go. It's got stars all the way around the inside. Yep, that's quite nice. I'm not sure exactly if anybody knows exactly what button this is. I'd appreciate it. But that's quite a stellar find for Montana. Yeah, I dug this up and I thought it was just a snap button because the back's missing. And I toss it in my garbage pouch. Empty my garbage pouch out as I normally do and sift through the rubbish and you never know what you're going to find in your garbage pouch. You got to look. The real treasures are can possibly be hiding in there as this button was. All right. See you on the next. Just got the tiniest little pendant. I'm sure it's a religious pendant. I can't see anything on it right now, but I'll be sure to clean it up when I get home. Yeah, right, see the next hole. I just got what looks to be a silver pocket watch lid. But it's not wanting to focus on that fancy on there. But I'll be sure to get it cleaned up better and show you in the wrap up. Alrighty, on to the next. Didn't see him at first. He isn't moving a muscle. Yeah, I'm gonna leave leave him or her alone. That's pretty cool. I saw the mom in the yard. She must be freaking out right now. Let's see the next. Got a neat find for my permission. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Alright, it says awarded special sales service. Saturday evening <clears throat> Saturday evening post founded by Franklin yeah, there he is that's pretty cool there's no date on it but it definitely looks like it's got some age I'm very stoked to have it <clears throat> alrighty then we'll see you on the next hole just cut me a nice little suspender clip yeah it's going to be tough to get focused on that there it is Patented September 19th, 1890. Another nice find. Especially considering this house here was built in the 30s. I found some remarkably old items in this yard. Very cool. Alright, see you next time. Right, I want to do a quick wrap up here. A few things that I did not show in the video. We got this uh, silver pendant cover. Didn't film that when I dug it. I got it out of that yard permission. It was amazing how many older things I found in that yard. Considering the house was only built in the uh, 1930s. And there's that uh, 44D Warnick. That was a nice find. This uh, Barber Dime is quite nice. Look at the detail on that. Yeah, I found that in the woods in the park. I knew there were some old coins in there. That is uh, quite a nice dime. Haven't found a seated yet. This makes this is the ninth barber I found now, and this little pendant that you saw me dig in the in the yard turned out it's actually silver. I think it's really has some significant age for it to be as black as that. It's been in the ground a long time, but I tested it. It's definitely a little silver silver charm. It's really hard to see any details on it, but it is a religious pendant. And I got this little suspender clip, uh, 1890, September 19th. That's pretty cool. It's something I didn't show. I didn't realize I also pulled it out of my garbage pouch. But that is half of a uh, cross guns pin. Not sure what exactly its meaning is, but it's definitely a half of some cross guns. Maybe it was a metal. I'm not exactly sure, but it was right next to this uh, Civil War button. I believe that's what I found here. I asked a few people. Joe from Okie Surf and Turf seems to believe that's what it is. And uh, Coil Boys. I shot him a picture of it too, and uh, he seems to believe the same thing. It may be post-Civil War. 
it's somewhere 1860 to 1880 is the information that I've got off of this so I'm pretty pretty stoked on that I can't believe I found that in Montana and there's that uh, Benjamin Franklin pendant that I showed on the video Saturday Evening Post New York interesting how that ended up here but it did there's that in her I'm sorry Buffalo nickel it's a 1934 it's actually quite nice too some great detail on that and that big shell which I believe is a 24 gauge it has absolutely no stamps whatsoever on it so I'm not exactly sure what that is I got a couple of these old Detroit special it's Fink's the overall buttons those are turn of the century and a whole pile of Wheaties the oldest one was a 23 got several in the 30s and 40s and 50s and I've been able to figure out what this pendant is. I looked up the manufacturer and I found loads of examples of pendants that they have made, but this one I was not able to locate yet. And I do love the kids' toys. Yep, that's going right in on display with the rest of them. Love it. That's a pretty sweet old toy there. And then this uh, pocket watch cover is quite beautiful. Don't know if I'll be able to get this camera to really show all the fancy on this but it's quite nice and it's also quite old I can't remember what is that July 15th 1882 is the patent number on this I also found that in the yard at the house that was built in the 30s and I thought these were rocker arm out of a motor when I first found them but these uh, little spikes on there I'm not exactly sure what those are somebody somebody out there might know but that's pretty much it did pretty well in that yard and got a few nice finds out of the wooded area in the park and wooded area in the park gave up some other old finds I'm gonna be doing a lot more work in there that old porcelain mason jar lid got tobacco a couple of their old shells I think this was 2532 which is an odd caliber you know this is your common yard fine water spigot a couple church keys and various bits and pieces of lead top some kind of squirter top but that's pretty much it so i'm going to be offline here for a bit i'm heading up to a uh an 1880s homestead where we're going to be staying for four days with some friends of mine and their their boys we're going to do a float trip this is up uh, near the canadian border uh, West Fork uh, near Glacier so that could be very interesting this is a very old homestead there's no power it's all gas lights and it's a it's all original cabin I'll be sure to show this place when I get there but I'm excited to poke around there with the metal detector I doubt it's ever been run over with the detector and even if it has I haven't run over it and I'm gonna give it a college world and see what I can find but yeah maybe uh, you know 10 days before I get back online but uh yeah please leave a comment and i'll respond to all comments as soon as uh i get home i appreciate everybody that views my videos and look forward to seeing yours when i get back Alrighty, we'll see you in the next hole cheers <laughs>